Welcome back to College Hockey Now. Alongside Brendan Jones, I'm Jorge on the for preview in the upcoming year in the WCHA Conference. Uh, Jonesy, plenty of predictions of what team will go out and take the conference, but what about the individual stars? Let's start with the goalie of the year. You were a former netminder. Who is your preseason selection for goalie of the year? One of the best goaltenders in the country, actually, actually Chris Nell from Bowling Green. He is a junior, caught the eye of a lot of pro scouts last year, voted team MVP. He was first team all WCHA. And get this, school records in goals against average with a 1.91 and save percentage with a .930. He is very quick. He rely, relies on his reactions. He is very focused when he gets on the ice. When you speak to head coach Chris Bergeron, he tells you he is a professional when he gets on the ice. The only thing he needs to work on is off the ice. If he could just become a little bit more focused off the ice, that off ice uh, regimen, that routine, he will then go ahead and take that next step. He's certainly a net miner to keep an eye on. What about player of the year? Who takes those preseason honors? This kid I was so impressed with last year, Gerald Mayhew from Ferris State. He is going into his senior year, really came into his own. Look at those hands. He has phenomenal on ice awareness. That is my favorite trait for this guy. He shoots very well as well. He has a cannon, a very quick release. But look at those eyes in the back of his head, right off the back of the net, wide open net. And there you go. He's just one of those players who has all of it knows exactly where everyone is on the ice as well and he is definitely going to have a target on his back so i think he is perfectly capable of being player of the year but he's going to have to play through that adversary adversity because he's going to have those eyes on him every game all eyes will be on him quick story for you guys to end the show after a 30 plus year career fair state honoring their retiring equipment manager ben Muma at the fifth annual bulldog hockey classic alumni golf tournament jonesy what did they give him a pontoon boat. They That's got awesome. together and gave him a boat. Former players and coaches, alumni all chipped in and got him a boat. Hey, listen, any South Florida hockey teams, I, I would willingly am down to be their equipment manager if everybody's getting a boat. He's, That's fantastic. He does a lot for those kids. He, he actually spends a ton of time with them. And you, when you hear from Bob Daniels, he was saying, he spends more time with them than the coach does. That's fantastic. A great story uh, for that team and for Ben as well. We wish him uh, much, much good things here in the near future and his retirement future. For Brendan Jones, I'm Jorge on the desk. That's going to do it for College Hockey Now. Make sure you stay with us for another episode next time. Good night.